There's another planet in the solar system that they called Nibiru that was captured and moves like a comet in a 3,600-year orbit. Our own astronomers know it's out there. They call it Planet X. It has a gravitational effects on the outer planets. They can't find it because it's so far out. Ancient Sumerians and what they had to say about it are correct. And what they say is that there's another planet in our solar system that was captured by our solar system as the solar system was forming. Sumerian records indicate that they began their counting not from the sun, but from a planet on the outside of the solar system. But most surprising was the inclusion of one more large planet as the 12th member of our solar system. The launch of Pioneer 10 in 1972 ushers in the era of deep space exploration. The craft journeys beyond the outer known planets, sending back data that is used to seek a possible 10th planet. 14 August 1978, which was just about six weeks after we discovered the fact that Pluto has a satellite. Once you have a satellite for a planet, you can determine how heavy it is. It turns out Pluto is very much smaller and lighter weight than we had thought, which meant that Pluto has no influence, no appreciable influence on the motions of the planets Uranus and Neptune. At that point, we voice the hypothesis that this means that there is at least one yet to be discovered planet in the outer reaches of the solar system. Over the past two decades, physicists have joined astronomers in the search for the mysterious Planet X. Now, one of the things we, we did in 1978, having made this prediction that there was a, an additional planet, 10th or 12th, depending on your point of view, we sort of put our money where our mouth was, as it were, and we went out and we started looking for this thing. We've been able to refine the search area somewhat, and get it rather narrowed down. We, we do our predictions based on the observed anomalies in Uranus and Neptune. We actually are currently looking down in the region of Centaurus which is just south of the, of the constellation Libra. But if, if it is in the kind of orbit that we describe here, it would have to be a planet that would have a mass something like three to five times the mass of the Earth. This would put it uh, intermediate between the gaseous planets like Uranus and Neptune and the terrestrial planets that we, we have in the inner part of the solar system. So if, if this planet turns out to be in a 3,600-year orbit, then its, its mass will be correspondingly larger. This one here is a map of the solar system as we know it. Uh, the inner planets, this is the orbit of planet Pluto. And this here is the orbit that I have proposed for uh, the 10th planet. And here's where we think it is right about now in its orbit. If planet X exists, we are not alone. 